hello guys uh today i'm going to show you uh moving average indicator uh, which i use uh for making a trade on binance so if you go on binance go on uh trades and then go on the graphs so over here uh, uh, make sure that uh, the moving indicator is selected over here yeah so it is a uh, moving indicator selected over here and then let me show you first how to do the setting so go over here sorry go over here over here and then go in indicators and go on moving averages okay and this is the setting that i use so moving average one i use five moving average two i use 10 and this third one i use 13 and the fourth one i use 21 fifth one i don't use much so i just leave it like that so if you want to use anything more then you can all, always put it over there uh, other settings is color uh, choose any color that you prefer it's all up to you these are the colors that i have chose chosen and uh, if you want to make them bolder or thinner uh, i'll go with the default ones so if you want to make any of these bolder then you can choose this or that depending on it once you have selected all of these values and the colors then go on to the confirm and then press confirm so once that has been set up um, your moving indicators will start to appear in lines or uh, on the candles now how to make a call on when to buy or when to take a trade or when to exit is looking over here so i chose uh, my, my first indicator moving average indicator is five second is so five let me show you sorry so uh, my moving indicators are uh, first one is five second one is ten third one is thirteen you can see the colors as well and the fourth one is 21 so now uh when the pink one that is the moving average five crosses the red one it is going upwards it is the indication for me to enter the trade or go into the trade or to buy whatever you uh, whatever you say so for example in this particular scenario i always check the trends as well so this is not the only indicator that i use to make a purchase when i buy or sell any of the coins uh, so i always see some other indicators as well but just to use this moving averages this is what i do when the pink line crosses the red line so MA5 crosses MA10 that is the pink one or the uh, pink one crosses the red one going upwards so in this scenario you can see the pink one has crossed the red one over here the pink one has come from here going up and this is a red one going down and then going up and at that moment at this intersection if you can focus over here at this intersection this is the point where i make a decision to buy the trade or go into the trade so what happens over here that i enter at this point and and then how to exit and i exit going reverse the same thing reverse reverse of the pink line crossing the red line downwards so this is where it happened this this point let me make it 
large just to show you this point so the pink line has crossed the red line going downwards so when it cross going downwards that is the time i exit or get out of the trade so in that way what i have achieved is if you say i have entered somewhere around here and then exit somewhere around here so this is the whole of the profit that i made and uh, i what about the other indicators so these one the green one that is moving average 13 moving average 21 that will give me further more confirmation than when the pink one crossing the green one and the pink one crossing the yellow one it gives me more confirmation that there is a good possibility that the trade will go up and similarly when the pink one crossing the green one and yellow one that is a definite time to exit the market at this point now there is one more thing uh, uh, in moving average 21 if you see moving average 21 that is the yellow one over here i also look at the moving average 21 this moving average 21 is a very good indicator for me as when i see that moving uh, average 21 is under the candles is all under the candles it is a good time to stay in the market when i'm buying and as soon as as soon as the uh, yellow candle that is moving average uh, not yellow candle yellow line uh, goes above the candles for example over here that is a time when you should be out of the trades that is i'm talking about only the spot trades right now so if you are in the futures if you are in futures let me go in futures uh, just a second okay the futures are here so if you are in futures so go in this indicators and this will give you the similar pattern this will give you the indication when to do short or long so similar scenario let me get some better view of something yeah this is the better view so this is so the pink line has crossed red pink line has crossed green and yellow yellow line is all under the candles good time to uh, stay in the market and do long and as soon as it has crossed down either exit or start short now let me give you some better example over here so this is a good example of short so pink line has crossed red going downwards pink line has also crossed green and the yellow line is all above the candles so you can see that so this is a good time to do a short as well if you want to do short in futures you can do short as well so this is how i analyze uh, this is the tip that i usually follow for moving indicators but this is not the only indicator that i use uh, to make my decision uh, to get into the trade i use other indicators as well like rsi uh ema i look at volumes as well i look some other other uh, indicators using trading view as well i will make some more videos regarding those in uh later on so if you have any questions about this uh let me know and if you have any suggestion uh for me as well i would like to know that as well uh so yeah that's about for this video thank you for watching